Hey everybody, going on a long vacation and just miss your pet, wish you could bring along with you? We think the RV lifestyle is for you and your pet. Today we're gonna go for over five tips to get your pet camping. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Come watch along. Hey future RVers, get your pet camping with you. First tip that we wanna talk about is make sure when you're shopping for a camper, let's talk about floor space. Cause there's gonna be days and many weekends that you're gonna be out running around doing a lot of activities or maybe some rainy days. You need some space to be able to have a good traffic flow. So some campers might have slide outs, some may have uh, a lot of furniture, those type of things that you have to make sure that you put on your shopping list to accommodate a, a, a lifestyle of a pet that's down on the floor and more importantly, to keep your sanity to be able to walk back and forth and use your camper to its full capacity. All right, future RVers, getting your pet camping with you. Tip number two, put on your shopping list windows. And when I say windows, I don't necessarily mean how many, but put, take a peek at the windows. Not all windows are the same in all these campers. We have uh, windows that slide up and down. We have windows that uh, uh, pop out. We have windows that slide left and right. Then you have small windows, then you have big windows. But other than just the windows themselves, making that, that um, your pet be able to people watch outside and have some low anxiety and enjoying themselves, you also need to look at the windows for as fresh air and privacy, right? Especially if you're at a campground where there's a lot of dogs and your dogs may be going a little crazy. So when you're out shopping, take a look at the windows and the blinds. Blinds are very important. There's some metal blinds, there's some cloth blinds, there's some blackout blinds, and then there's some um, night shades and day shades, things like that, that you can really maximize uh, making your pet really comfortable during the day and the evening. And then what I definitely highly recommend, you know your pet loves to hang their head outside going down the road. Make sure you look at the windows and be how well they open up so that way they can get them outdoor smells and just be comfortable and curious. All right, trying to get your pet out camping. Tip number three, adjustment. This is a new camper that more than likely you went out shopping, spent some time picking out a really nice camper that you think is gonna be ideal for, for you guys and the pet or pets. But it's the first time that they're going to see it, be in it, sniff it, smell it, right? When you go camping. Okay, so slow, slow your roll. What we definitely recommend is getting the adjustment period before you go camping on that maiden voyage. Get your pet up on furniture, get them around feeling comfortable, sniffing things. And when, and when I say things, go around the whole camper, the bathroom, the kitchen area, the dinette, the sleeping area, etc. They want to be curious, right? We'll get that curiosity out of the way before you get to your first trip. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Right, sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, sniff, yeah, what's in there? What's in there, huh? Sniff, sniff. Yeah, over here, what's over here? Sniff, sniff. See them. What's in here? Sniff, sniff. It's back here. Come on, walls. Come on. It's back here. It's down here. Sniff, sniff. All right, future RVers, getting your pet camping with you. The next tip is making it like home. And when we say home, it's all kinds of ways to define that. But certainly, you need to make them comfortable with mealtime, having ample floor space, having things that they're comfortable at home with. Again, this is new territory for them, so they're, as much as you can make it like home, the better and we certainly have to bring our toys we have <laughs> bye willie <laughs> speaking of making it like home make sure they're comfortable too but bring your toys bring some blankets bring more importantly bring things that have a familiar smell from home because the more that they are comfortable you are comfortable so again don't forget those items food toys 
blankets, bedding, etc. That way you guys can enjoy your camping weekend. All right, future RVers, the last tip of the day for getting your pet camping with you is plan for rainy days. And I'm gonna use the air quotes, rainy. Mother Nature, of course, is gonna give us some rainy days and we have to be stuck inside. But perhaps you're at a campground or you're on an adventure or wherever you may be stopping at a rest stop and rainy days as in you're stuck inside because of the, the environment that you're at. So make sure that you plan for those stops or those days that where you're all gonna be inside. So here, for example, what we've done is we've taken that dinette and turned it into a bed, laid out Willie's favorite blanket, and that way she's comfortable during the day. We have a lot of low anxiety going on and we love that, don't we, uh, pet owners? So that way they can look out the window, they can chill out, and be comfortable. The other thing that I would love to have uh, ready for, for rainy days is a lot of toys. Again, overactive pets, they need that stimulation to be able to uh, you know, go minute by minute, hour by hour, again, to keep us pet owners' anxiety down low. So again, if you're ever stuck inside on those rainy days, Think about the pet. Think, bring all those items to make them comfortable on your trip, just the same as you would think when you're packing up your camping list. All right, future RVers, bonus tip of getting your pet camping with you. Outside security. We are going camping because we love the outdoors, right RVers? So if your trailer is not equipped with a pet leash outside, be creative. There is plenty of spaces or areas that you can tie off your pet. One uh, example here could be through the door handle. You could loop that around and have, the le have them leashed up that way. In this example, we have a nice step that's conducive of creating a loop, tying off our willy here, and that way we can sit out, relax, and knowing that she's leashed. If that doesn't work for you, again, look around be nosy there is plenty of underneath um, opportunities to leash your dog all right pet owners and future RVers there's a bunch of tips there that you can put down on your list on getting your pet out camping with you if you like what you saw give us a like and comment below on any questions or any experiences that you have uh, been able to help you get your pet out camping and smash that subscribe button I'm Mikey B this is Willie we're from Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites.